Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this wide V stitch. It's a beautiful crochet stitch. It has an open work fabric, but it's one that is quite sturdy and stable as well. It's the same on both sides, so it's going to be great for uh, those reversible projects. And to me it almost has a granny stitch feel, which uh, is kind of fun. I really like it. Uh, and it's still fairly easy to work. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a worsted weight 100% cotton yarn. This is Pima Cotton by Lion Brand as well as a 5 millimeter or an H8 crochet hook. Links to these items can be found in the description of the video. Also in the description you will find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial and throughout the week with free crochet patterns. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain for the wide V stitch is going to need to be a multiple of two stitches. Today I'm going to chain 20. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working two double crochet into the fifth chain from your hook. So one, two, three, four, five into that fifth chain, work two double crochet stitches. You're then going to skip the next chain and into the next work two double crochet stitches. Repeat this all the way across until you have three stitches remaining. Skip the next chain, work two double crochet stitches into the next, all the way across until three stitches remain. When you come all the way across and you have three stitches remaining, three chain stitches left, you're going to skip the next chain and into your next chain work one double crochet and then a double crochet two stitches together in the same chain and in the next one. To work your double crochet two together, yarn over, insert your hook into that same chain as the last stitch yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're then going to yarn over again and insert your hook into the next chain, the last chain, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have three loops remaining on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's your double crochet two together. You're then going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. For row two, you're going to begin by working a double crochet into that first stitch. So this is into the top of your double crochet two together. You're then going to skip the next stitch and into the next space between the next two stitches you're going to work your two double crochet. So you're skipping the next stitch and into the next space between the next two stitches, work two double crochets. Skip the next two stitches into the next space between those next two stitches, work two double crochets. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitches into the next space between the two stitches, work two double crochets all the way across. Row 
When you come all the way across at the end of row 2 and have 3 stitches remaining, you're simply going to finish off with 1 double crochet into the top of your chain 4. So skip the next 2 stitches and 1 double crochet stitch into the top of your starting chain 4. You're then going to chain 3, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row 3, we're going to begin by working 2 double crochet stitches in the space between the first 2 stitches. So 2 double crochet stitches just into that first space. Then just as you did before, skip the next two stitches into the next space, work two double crochet. Repeat, skip the next two, two double crochet in between the next two stitches. You're going to continue this all the way across until the final space between the final two V stitches. Once you come all the way across at the end of row 3, you have one space remaining. You can skip your next two stitches, work one double crochet into that next space, and then once again a double crochet two together, working into that same space and into the top of the starting chain three. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, Yarn over, insert your hook into the top of that starting chain 3, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over and pull through the remaining 3 loops on your hook. Now as far as the repeat is concerned, that is it for this pattern. For the rest of the pattern you're going to repeat your rows 2 and 3. So the row 3 we just worked, the row 2 just as a reminder you're going to chain 3, turn your work, double crochet into the same stitch, that first stitch, skip the next stitch and into the space between the next two stitches, work your two double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across until you double crochet into that fi uh, final starting chain at the end of the row there and uh, chain three and turn. So that's all there is to working the wide V stitch. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe if you happen to try out this stitch. Be sure to tag Rich Textures Crochet on social media and I will come by and check it out. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.